Good morning. Um, we are starting day three. I finally got some good rest last night. You know, the first night before I left, I only got like five hours. And then last the night before, I got like six hours of sleep. And so last night, I actually got like ten hours. So I'm all caught up on sleep. I'm feeling much better as far as that goes. And, um... Having some breakfast on the patio with a beautiful view of mango trees. And the water is like through this tree here. Um, yeah, having some breakfast, some coffee, and uh, getting ready to start the day. Breakfast. So breakfast is baked, baked potato, some rice with some shredded carrot in it and some chicken and coffee. So I was trying to think about like, what am I gonna vlog about today when I'm working? So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of talk about what I come across with the machine and um, what our plans are gonna be f going forward from here. Um, to keep her machine in a good operating order because remember um, there's only two embroidery machines on this island and both of those machines are amazing Melco machines um, and one of them is the XTS model which is the one I'm working on here and the other one is actually the EMT model um, I believe it's a plus uh, but his machine is running fine, and I asked him if he wanted me to stop by and do any kind of tune-up, and he said he is good for this trip, so um, I'm not even going to go visit him, um, which is fine, you know. Um, but yeah, so basically the power supply, I'll show you. So the power supply looks pretty good, but when I get down inside, I'm actually starting to see a little bit of corrosion on there. So we're going to plan on replacing this the next time just so that it stays good working order. Um, all of the other circuitry in the back looks good. I've cleaned and dusted it all out, so we're ready to go. So <clears throat> circuit board looks absolutely beautiful on this machine. And what she actually told me was about two years ago, she was having a problem with the machine. And of course, I don't remember talking to her, but um, she ended up talking to tech support and they had said you needed a new board. So for two grand, she bought a new board. So this board is actually very good condition. And she even still has the other board. Um, we're going to find out later. I may or may not put it in just to see if it is a problem um, or if all of her problems were relating to these belts that were disintegrating. So um, we'll see what happens. I may or may not do that. Um, depends on what she wants to do when we get when she gets back. She's running into town. So here we go. Circuit board looks beautiful. So this will keep her going for a little while. Excellent. So, um, the good news is I've um, gone inside her machine and I've checked all of, you know, her moving parts and um, she's kept up very well with all of her maintenance, her greasing and oiling and stuff. So everything inside, even after 10 years, um, all of these parts are still in good order. So there's nothing in here that I feel like we're going to need to replace anytime soon. So um, overall, this machine looks fabulous for 10 years. And um, I'm hoping to be able to keep her machine running for her for another 10 years. Um, I was just thinking while I was, you know, mindlessly greasing stuff and, you know, going through things. And... I was like, how amazing that Montserrat is dominated by Melco embroidery machines. And um, not that that's a big thing, but it is kind of cool to know that an entire island and or country is um, operated by just two embroidery machines. Um, I also found out that 
the population here, you know, the island used to be pretty big and it had about 10,000 uh, people on the island. And then when the volcano erupted, and I forgot what year that was, um, and the big major city was completely um, wiped out and buried under the lava flow, uh, the population instantly dropped to about 5,000. Um, half the people just left for other islands, other opportunities, um, so that they could have a place to live for one and uh, businesses. So the the population was pretty steady around five to six thousand because there are people who have a lot of homes here that come half the year from like Canada and stuff and um, she had said that recently because of COVID as soon as travel restrictions were raised they lost at least half of their nurses um, and a lot of people just left for um, employment opportunities um, other places and so the population on the island is actually dropped to about 4200 on average um, so that's really not a lot of people um, to to live on an island um, it's just nice and um, safe and uh, it has its quirks because when there's no there's no fast food restaurants here at all there are restaurants um, slash bars um, and there are some restaurants per se where basically it's somebody who's put a couple of tables in their living room and you're eating basically whatever the uh, lady of the house decides to cook that day so um that's a pretty interesting experience uh, so I I just love the island and um, this is where you'll find me when I retire and disappear from the States because it's a slow here it's just not crowded not busy there's like one cruise ship that comes here and it can't even port because there's no cruise terminal so they have to stay offshore and tender uh, so there's a little bit of tourism that's coming back, but um, it's really not a lot. Uh, there's no ferry right now that's running because that used to be able to bring four to six hundred people a trip from from Antigua to bring people into the island, but the ferry is discontinued still from COVID. Um, that hasn't started back up yet, so the only way onto the island right now is a private charter from one of the neighboring islands like St. Kitts, um, Antigua and and flights like the plane that I came in on and you're not gonna get a lot of tourism when seven people at a time are coming in um, so I can understand why the economy is kinda slow here um, but yeah we're gonna keep this machine going and so we can do some embroidery All right. Uh, that's all for now. Bye. We are sewing. She is running beautiful day. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. I think we're gonna do some digitizing training. She has some beanies she's never done before, so we're gonna uh, work on learning how to do that and setting that file up, and then some more hats. Um, so yeah, it'll be a fun afternoon. So I just wanted to get a little bit of this beautiful sunset that's going on. Unfortunately, it's like right behind the tree and I can't quite find a good place to uh, get a good view of it, but it's amazing and pretty anyways. It's a great day inside all day, so it's good to kind of get outside and get some fresh air. So, I will probably wrap it up. We'll see. I'm going to go do some sewing.